here, uh, we are here from B, B Django to talk about QA for, for Python, how we understand QA and how we do QA for Python. So first of all about me, I'm Alejandro Gomez, I uh, work at Emergia, B Django. I'm also a lecturer at Pablo Navidia all about QA and I, I can define myself as a QA attack lover, that's all for me. So this is a quick roadmap that we will do, we will use today, is what QA really means for us. Uh, how we work the dev team and the QA team, how we build a team, uh, our QA receipt, uh, the showcase we will try because I don't know if we have a Wi-Fi and the conclusions. Okay, what QA really means? Uh, for us it depends on the, your point of view. Uh, for some of you maybe it can be only tests, maybe continuous integration sounds great, uh, continuous delivery, but QA for us it much more. Is Commitment, you know, you have to commit to, the, to your, your quality. Uh, it's a continuous process, you are continuous learning. Uh, it's about talking about definition. Uh, now, you know, we work with Agile, we use definition of ready, definition of done. This is also QA for us. Also, code styling, documentation, following the standards. Uh, also, testing, of course, is QA. And delivering, continuous delivering, and, and of course, validation. The dev team and the QA team is like, okay, we are developers, you are tester, you are QA, so you have to test my code and I also am focused on development. This is not true. So there is no QA team and development. This is a team. This is the first clue for us. So uh, we learned from that. Uh, we started working uh, two years ago on that way and it works and it's working more and much, much better. Of course, we share workflows. It, you know, not, doesn't make sense only having development and testing at the end. QA should be on the work, in the workflow, in all the workflow of the development. And also developers should be in all, all the workflow. It means, I am a developer, you are testing, I don't care what they are testing, no. You should understand how QA tests and QA should understand how you work because both, you can work each other. This is our Agile board, so you can see the whip and the QA and done, so the, uh, the workflow is, is shared. And the third uh, clue, uh, we build a team together dedicated to excellence, of course. In this current process, uh, it should sound uh, familiar, no? Yes? I don't know, it's too early. You know, I saw faces like. Okay, what is QA here? Is at the end, is at the beginning. For us, QA is everywhere because we understand, we are talking about QA, but uh, at the end we talk about a team. So there is no QA, I'm talking about QA because of course I'm talking about my book, but it's not, I don't know, we are QA, but we are a team. QA is everywhere. QA is uh, helping in the definition of ready. QA talk to the client like with and also the product owner because the QA should love and should know the product as much as the client because he should test, he should validate it. Also definition of done. He talked to the client, he know one, once a user story is ready to be done and also, and also uh, when a user story can be delivered, when it's done. And of course, if you see on the right, uh, is focus on the customer satisfaction. You know, if the customer is not happy, we lose money. If the customer is not happy, we don't have projects. So QA uh, should be like worse, within brackets, like the product owner, he, he, sh he should love the project more than the client, he should. And it's the way that we work, and for now, it's working for us. So it's cool, but how do you do it? Okay, this is our QA receipt. We, this is our catalog, should be simple, but in Scrum and in Agile, the first clue is do it simple. It works, okay. Unit testing, guarantee the quality of isolated pieces, but you need more than unit testing. And also the unit testing, you will see that for us are important, but not as much as another ones. Functional testing, you should see that the project, uh, the, what you are delivering is working and it should. 
unless you will not get paid. Uh, when we work about functional testing, we, we can, uh, you know, we can split in three, three different uh, uh, suites, like or types, like acceptance, we guarantee the quality of the core. It means if it's Google, uh, for us the acceptance for Google is, I enter on Google, I have a, 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 text, a text box, and if I search dog, I click on search, I have some results with docs. I don't, I don't know more. So that's the acceptance. The regressions for us is from now to the past, so what we delivered before is working, is fully working. It means acceptance plus if the same example like Google, I have a doc uh, results, but I will check that the format is the same, the page rank is working fine, I only have doc, so as you see, we are like completing the testing. And the progression, uh, you can call it progression. There is no a real, a real name, but we, we call it progression. Is what we are going to deliver. So it's, it's not the regression because we didn't deliver, but we are going to. So it's the progression, it's what we have to test. Also, we are focused on the performance test. You should guarantee that the system is a reliability, that it should work with a thousand users at the same time. It works. I have to let you know that, for example, the first time that uh, we moved into production, we estimated uh, 300 users at the same time. The performance testing worked, and when we went into production, our server gone. Why? Because we had 500 users at the same time. So the, our problem was like we had more than expected. So we failed as QA and also the team uh, estimating the performance test. So we learned, we adapted, and we know that from now, our system, our system will work, and it's working, because we turn we, we, we turn our performance testing. And also the responsive testing, you know, nowadays, all the websites are responsive. Uh, it go, it, it's cool, I have my, my cell, I, have, I want to check it, then I see it cool, but we have to check it. I cannot have a person or the, uh, 10 people checking into different devices because there are a lot of devices, a lot of screen. You have iOS with the uh, resolution that they have in iOS, you have Android, so you, have, you need something to check it and test it quick, safe, and cheap. Because we are talking about QA, about everything, but at the end, you have to uh, talk about euros or dollars or whatever, because you have to eat, you have to survive. So that's the key. Uh, is the, the receipt that the, our Django chef prepared. How we work with QA is, is not the Git workflow that you are used to maybe to see, but it's easy, because we are always thinking on do it easy, but do it uh, good. So we have three branches, uh, master, in branch, uh, what we have in master, we deliver into production or we test before delivering. QA is what we have the QA team to test, and we, you will see it and the continuous integration branch. This is what I am working now. For each uh, user story, defect, we have a branch, you work, you test that everything is, is good, and you perform a pull request. Then you have a CA validation. As you see, I'm not talking about testing. I'm talking about validation, and we will see what it means for us. And also, if the pull request is not, doesn't pass the, valid the validation, we refuse the pull request, and the developer should work. We don't have a person reviewing the code, uh, everything. We have something, checking things, and letting us know that it's cool or not. Once everything is fine, we tag it, of course, because we have, we know when that today we have a tag. It's stable, but today, you know, we are here at night, we have a party, someone uh, perform a push at the night, it's not really good, and we have to move into production tomorrow and the system is failing. Okay, I know that I can deliver the, la the latest tag because I'm pretty sure that it's, work it's working. And maybe I can, I can tell the client, I'm not, good, I'm not going to deliver the 100% of the functionalities, but I'm going to deliver the 95%, but I'm really sure that it's working as you want to. QA is not always testing because, you know, we have there are, there are people, they have to work, and our dimension of the team is like for each four, three developers, one QA member. 
So QA on demand peak code, merge into the branch, and they test in another system, the QA branch. Also QA perform a validation, and once the QA uh, like put the stamp, like, okay, it's fine, we release into master, and once it's released into master, this is the version that we deploy in pre-production, and we test again. So we have like three steps, like three, uh, um, uh, I forgot the word in English now, uh, three firewalls to detect that the, we are delivering what we have to and it's working as we sh it should. This is the receipt, how it works is, you know, I know that I'm a pain, but it's easy because our keys been easy. So we have code style, we perform, we work with GitHub, we do, we use pull requests, Jenkins, accept, reject them. We have code inspection, delivering, and testing. For the code style, we use PEP8. The code style, the most famous one uh, for, for Python. We use it for Python and for, uh, for Django. Once you have a pull request, a push into the branch, uh, we perform the static code analysis with PyLint and also with JS Hint. Because we are working on Python, but you know, we are building maybe in Django a website and we have JavaScript. The JavaScript, you have to test it because it's important the responsive, okay, it's important Python, okay, but what about JS? Maybe you are really good uh, coding Django, coding Python, but you are not really good coding JS. But no one take care about JS because it's JS. I, I, will, I always can see that it's an Internet Explorer problem or whatever, have an excuse. So we also check the JS uh, code. We deliver things with Docker uh, and QA, not in production, uh, but we deliver, we use, uh, we use Docker to deliver our environments. And for testing, we use PyUnit for testing, for unit testing, JMeter for the performance, Selenium framework that we code our test in Selenium and don't get mad, but we, we code our test in, on Java. Why? Because the Java API on Selenium for Selenium is the most supported in the community. So we have to follow the community. And Galen framework for the responsive testing, because also the syntax is easy and also a front end or a developer can understand it and can help us to write tests. Okay, it's pretty cool, but it works. So if the Wi-Fi works, you will see that it's our Jenkins that, yeah, we have a skin, it's open source, you can use it for a big Django. It's a workflow that we have, and now it's broken, the workflow, you know, parties at night and push, that happens. And as you can see, we have like one, two, three, four, six phases. First of all, the most important, is the CI system working? Fine. Checking the healthy of the, of the system. You know, I have worked uh, in a lot of places, a lot of companies, and you have the CI system, and no one takes care. Like, is the CI system working? Because maybe I will have like false positive. Okay. Then uh, the CI system is working. We go to the an static uh, analysis for the code. We check uh, JS hint. And Py, well, with Sonar Cube, we use the, uh, the PyLint. And once that the code is validated, we deploy the code that we have in the branch that we are testing, and then we test it. So as you can see now, the workflow is broken because the code doesn't follow the standards that we define as a team. Because remember, we are a team, and QA doesn't tell you, you have to follow this code style, sorry, no. We're a team, and QA can propose code styling, but you are the, you are the good ones coding at Python, and you can tell me, no, Alejandro, I think that you are wrong. The best code styling is this one, okay. This is the, the, like the game rules, and we should follow it. So that's why our Jenkins is broken. So we have uh, the I what what happened here? I hope it's not a demo effect. I hope so. Or I will kill someone. Okay, we have in J, in the JS code uh, 
JS, hint, use like by default, okay, JavaScript, use single code. Maybe for you it's like, okay, it's stupid. I don't care, I, I don't mind use double code, single code. No, it cares because you have to follow the rules. It's a detail, but the, the demon is, is into the, the evil is in the, the, into the details. So you should fix it. So, okay, let's go. We have to deliver. We have no stable now. Maybe we had before and we have to deliver. So I have to, the, to go to the JS, custom JS. Uh, do you see it right the terminal or do you want me to ch switch the profile? Okay, cool. Uh, beam, yeah, I'm Spartan, beam. In the line is the 25-27. So if I go to the 25, of course, I have the double codes here. I think that I'm gonna change the profile. Sorry, but I think that this one, it can be much better for your health, for mine. Uh, sorry. Better, no? Okay, I have a double code. Okay, the front end or whatever didn't follow the rules. We want to fix it. Um, that's all. And so, git commit, fixing JS hint. You know, this is the best, commit, the best command that you can put it. Fixing JS issue without tracker, without anything. That's our life. And you are here, I'm gonna activate the auto refresh because we did a patch, we didn't perform a pull request. Why? Because I'm the best one and I don't need pull request. I don't need patch. Okay. You want to, you want to play? Let's rock it together. So Jenkins detected that the, the, you have a patch and the pipeline started. So the system is checking the, is checking the uh, healthy chick, the healthy of the system. Now is uh, working on the JS hint. I'm refreshing because yeah, is uh, the Q, J sonar analysis and JS hint. Remember that JS was one of the blocker one. It was JS, so Python was fine, but JS didn't. Now that is checking JS hint. Finger crossed. If it fails, I can see that it's a Wi-Fi or whatever. Come on. And okay, it passed. So now it's delivering on CI because we are in the CI branch in a Docker. And if you see, we have our static code thing uh, here. So I have five minutes left. So I will jump again to the slide to, to see the conclusion. So the conclusions that we have is like the quality means it does, you know, if the client wants or he doesn't, the quality means, and we should focus on the quality. We should take the quality as a part of us. Like, for us, it's important having an, a, an I don't know, a Jenkins a tools, automatic tools. QA is as much as important as that. Uh, the Pixar <laughs> business say, quality is our best plan. And you should create a QA culture, because if you don't, it's like, I, you can, if you listen someone telling, in my team, we do QA, you can say, oh, it sounds weird. Because you don't have to do QA, you have to feel QA, because, because you don't do Python, you love Python. So that's the same. So you have to love what you are doing. So it's a culture. QA is more than testing, as I said, it's commitment, code style, continuous integration, unit testing, functional testing, continuous delivery, you saw it, and I will jump at the end into the, you know, I'm not uh, pulling your leg, so the, everything was fine, and I will, I will have on GitHub an attack. You know, I want to show you that we have fair play, and we are not. Okay, releases. So 30 seconds ago, Jenkins 35 that my calls can be delivered. Why? Because we pass. Static code, unit testing, testing, performance, and functional testing through Selenium. And 
Also, it's not easy. So we have been working on that more than two years. It's not easy. So now that if you don't uh, work with QA, you are in your comfort zone. But in your comfort zone, nothing grows here. So with QA, QA is not the shit. Sorry for the expression. But QA, uh, when you use QA, you, are like, you feel like you can't sleep Fridays because it's working. Someone is checking for your, for your code. And maybe you are here, but and with, when you have the perfect process, you, have, you are where the magic happens. And of course, we are not here, but we are close to, and we will be there. It's our uh, aim for, this, for the end of the year. And I would like to finish, like, you know, I love this sentence, like, individuals play the game, but teams beat the odds, because if we work as a team, we can work together. That's why for Forget the idea like dev, QA, design. No, we are a team. Um, at the end, I would like to thank to the team. This is also a team. This is the Django team. Also, the, it's the core of the QA in Art Emerge and Django. We are 18 people in the QA team working not only for Django, for more projects, but it's the core that we are. Also, David, that he's there with the, with the cell. And to Javi that he's the front end, he's not in the team, but he's part of, because he built the skin for the Jenkins that we use, and feel free to use if you, if you prefer this, this skin, the Jenkins that you saw, than the ones that you're using. And I think I, don't, I think I have a minute for questions. It means no questions, no? Okay, it's really early. Okay, so thanks everyone for coming and pleasure to be here.